A significant development has taken place when it comes to U.S. nuclear stance. In March, President Biden approved a highly classified nuclear strategic plan for the United States. This was first reported by the New York Times. The White House did not publicly announce that Biden had approved the updated strategy, known as the Nuclear Employment Guidance. This revised plan aims to prepare the United States for potential coordinated nuclear threats from three specific countries. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S.'s new nuclear strategic plan focuses on China, Russia, and North Korea. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The document, which is revised approximately every four years, is so highly classified that no electronic copies exist. Only a limited number of hard copies have been distributed to select national security officials and Pentagon commanders. However, in recent speeches, two senior administration officials were permitted to subtly reference the change, each doing so in carefully crafted remarks. A more detailed, unclassified notification to Congress is expected before President Biden leaves office. Vipin Narang, an MIT nuclear strategist who served in the Pentagon, said earlier this month, the president recently issued updated nuclear weapons employment guidance to account for multiple nuclear armed adversaries. He added, and in particular, the weapons guidance accounted for the significant increase in the size and diversity of China's nuclear arsenal. In June, the National Security Council's Senior Director for Arms Control and Nonproliferation, Pranay Vadi, noted, the need to deter Russia, the People's Republic of China, and North Korea simultaneously. The exact nature of the change remains shrouded in secrecy. Russian President Vladimir Putin controls about 5,580 nuclear warheads, according to the Federation of American Scientists. Of those, about 1,200 are retired but largely intact, and around 4,380 are in active stockpiles. The arsenal includes large strategic nukes, as well as tactical nuclear weapons, or TNWs, or non-strategic nuclear weapons (NSNWs). Russia is one of the few countries that possesses a nuclear triad. A nuclear triad is the capability to launch nukes from the air, land, and sea. Russia's nuclear triad includes land-based ICBMs like Sarmat, deployed from silos and mobile launchers, aircraft carrying free-fall nuclear bombs like Tu-95 Bear, and ballistic missile submarines like Ori class, which are armed with Balava SLBM submarine launched ballistic missiles. Putin has repeatedly threatened to use nuclear weapons against Ukraine. In response, President Biden, along with the leaders of Germany and Britain, persuaded China and India to publicly declare that nuclear weapons should not be used in Ukraine. This helped to temporarily de-escalate the crisis. Over the last few years, Kim Jong-un's regime has worked on increasing its nuclear capability. North Korea currently is estimated to have 50 warheads as of January 2024, and the fissile material for an estimated 70 to 90 nuclear weapons. The capability enhancement has changed the nature of the North Korean challenge. When the country possessed just a handful of weapons, it could be deterred by missile defense. But its expanded arsenal is fast approaching the size of Pakistan's 
and Israel's, which could be pretty hard to defend against. The country has also developed long-range missiles to deliver the nukes. It has few missiles that can reach even the US, the most potent one of which is the Hwasong-18. Hwasong-18 conducted its first flight test on the 13th of April 2023. The use of solid fuel makes this ICBM launch more difficult to preempt than previous liquid-fueled missiles as it does not require hours of fueling and is easier to conceal since it does not require as many accompanying support vehicles. According to research by the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, China had an estimated 500 nuclear warheads in January, up from 410 in January of 2023. President Xi Jinping has abandoned China's decades-long strategy of maintaining a minimum deterrent and is now aiming to match or surpass the size of Washington's and Moscow's nuclear arsenals. China's nuclear program is currently the fastest growing in the world. The new strategy takes into account the Pentagon's estimates that China's nuclear force would expand to 1,000 by 2030 and 1,500 by 2035. The country also possesses a nuclear triad that includes land-based ICBMs like DF-41 deployed from silos and mobile launchers, aircraft carrying free-fall nuclear bombs like Xi'an H-6s, and ballistic missile submarines like Type 92 and Type 94, which are armed with JL-1 and JL-2 SLBMs. In 2021, satellite imagery that had been obtained by the New York Times pointed to China's efforts to construct new silos at a site in a desert near the northwestern city of Yumen. Matt Korda and Hans Christensen from the Federation of American Scientists, who first spotted the development, dubbed it the most significant expansion of the Chinese nuclear arsenal ever. It's no secret that China and Russia have very close military ties, and they're mounting a united front against the US. On July 24th, China and Russia conducted long-range sorties inside the Alaska Air Defense Identification Zone. NORAD intercepted the Russian Tu-95 Bear and Chinese H-6 bombers, which were escorted by Russian Su-30SM and Su-35S fighters. Both Tu-95 and H-6 are nuke-delivery-capable strategic platforms. It also marks the first time H-6 bombers, which are derivative of older Soviet bombers, have entered the Alaska Adiz. North Korea is almost like a Chinese vassal state and has even shipped more than 1,000 containers of arms to Russia for use in the war in Ukraine. So there's a clear nexus between the three countries. In theory, Pyongyang, Moscow, and Beijing could launch coordinated strikes. Earlier, the likelihood that multiple rivals could collude for a simultaneous nuclear strike was remote, but it's not so anymore. Given the situation, the U.S. had to respond with an updated plan. The new document serves as a stark reminder that whoever takes office on January 20th will face a significantly altered and far more volatile nuclear landscape compared to just three years ago. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.